Rachel picked up this uh, glider rocker off the curb and uh, it works, but uh, all the bearings are kind of messed up on it, so I thought I should fix that before the baby comes. You can tell some of the stuff has been repaired before and it's gone all crooked again. It uh, must have come from a house that's had an uh, overweight person living in there. I'm afraid I have to take at least one of these sides off to get this mechanism apart. Well, this hole's a little elongated, and I think those are supposed to be bearings in here. It turns, but not very well at all. This one, not at all. Yeah, that's a bearing. Well, with a bit of oil in it, I think it might be acceptable enough for a rocking chair. So they replaced this bearing with just a bolt and knotted in the right place. No wonder this hole got so elongated just from rocking back and forth from the friction with the bolt. Ugh. So checking all this over, all the bearings are still okay as long as they get a little bit of oil in them and I think they just need to be tightened up to be square except for this part here which uh, goes with this here that bolt just won't do, I have to figure something out there I've been trying to figure out how to uh, fix this hole but I think the easiest thing to do is to just to make this whole part new looking through my junk bin I've got this ball bearing which has got the right size hole Bigger outer diameter though, but that's actually great for this because I can just drill a bigger hole in the right place and that'll seat properly. This bowl is bent. And looking through my machine screws drawers, uh, this bolt, I think it's a 3 8 is about the right size for that bearing. And I want a shorter one with a smooth shank. And this rusty old one is the closest I could find to it doesn't really matter that it's rusty, it won't be visible, and it saves a trip to the hardware store. And that bolt needs to be securely supported in here, so if this was a solid piece I could just thread it into the wood, and that would give it stiffness against going like this. So I think the thing to do is to just remake this whole part out of something much harder. Rather than measure where all those holes are, I figure I'd just transfer the uh, positions across with a square. I'm using a caliper to mark the halfway position laterally across the piece, and then setting it to half the hole diameter to mark the exact center position for all the holes. I'm setting a drill depth stop off of the old piece, so I drill the new holes the same depth. So I was going to use this bolt because I wanted that smooth shank to go in here that would be easier to put in but it turns out by the time I put the bearing on there and I put enough spacers on there to bring it to the same height as the other one and I'm onto the threaded part and it's not even that long so uh, I decided to use a carriage bolt instead because it's got a nice flat head and I used my belt grinder to grind this square part roundish so it fits inside the bearing which means I get a flat head and I can put a nut right up against the uh, ball bearing now I gotta seat this ball bearing in here and it's a 30 millimeter diameter bearing unfortunately I don't have any metric bits this is one and one eighth and it's maybe a millimeter too small so I'll have to chisel that out a little bit 
There's still the center of the old hole barely there, and I'm using that to mark a circle centered around where the hole needs to go. And then checking that my drill is the same distance from that circle in all directions. Now that drill drills a little bit too small, so I had the idea of just moving the uh, workpiece by a tiny bit and drilling an overlapping hole to carve it out on the sides in various directions until the bearing fit. Huh. Just about fits. Next drilling an undersized hole for where the uh, bolt is going to thread through. And I'm using my drill press to start that tap so that I can be sure that it's starting nice and square. So the bolt just threads right into here. I thought about adding extra reinforcement or something like that, but uh, I've already given it extra thickness to uh, have more resistance to racking, and this is already much harder wood than the chair was made out of originally, so this joint will be much stronger than the other ones to begin with. Now I've just got to match the color of this thing. Oh, this one's junk. Oh, that's better. I also made a plug for where the ugly hole was on the other side where the bolt went through. I put this bracket together too soon because then I had to take it apart again to get it back onto the frame. And then Rachel came by to check out the progress, although the real reason she came to the basement was to get some chocolate from the fridge. The baby's not due till May. So the tricky part now is I have to thread this bolt all the way through the wood in place. Ah, too difficult. So now I cut a slot in the end of it, so I should be able to just then uh, back that in with the drill. Let's see if that works. Beauty. Except I forgot to wash it. So I wasn't aiming for perfection here. This will always be a uh, trash pick piece of furniture, but it does the job. 